So our third and final Dunlop Sportmax Production Cup race about to get underway and the top four positions have been reversed. Therefore, it's Tom Carnaby in the Tesco Momentum 99 Racing Vauxhall Astra VXR that lines up on pole position. Alongside him, number 28, the first of the Nissan 370Zs that we have in the field, Peter Dignan. With the second row of the grid being the Courtney Sport car in the hands of Adrian Churchill, number 14, sitting alongside the second of the two Nissans, number 23, Craig Curry. The wind still continuing to blow here at Thruxton, but a good crowd this weekend as the third race is about to get underway. The red lights are on, a good start once more from those rear-wheel drive Nissans. A good start also from Dan Malone at the wheel of the Seat Leon. Up towards Allard they go for the first time. And as they turn in towards the right-hander, it's Tom Carnaby that's in the lead of the race. we right on board with Gareth Downing in the BMW 1 Series diesel. Claimed class honours in race two. He's second in the early stages of this one in class B. As up towards the complex for the first time they come. And Adrian Churchill has made it through. He's gained the position. He's now going for the lead of the race. It's a Vauxhall Astra 1-2. Then the two Nissans that sit there in third and fourth positions respectively, with Rick Kerry completing the top five. Down below there in sixth place, ahead of our camera car. They head out of Seagrave and up towards Noble with, by the look of things, problems there for Ryan Bensley. He's had a torrid weekend, the Dunlop Race Academy winner, as Adrian Churchill now looking to try and steal the lead of the race away from Tom Carnaby, if at all he can. Let's not forget that Adrian Churchill has some 36 kilograms of ballast on board as he tries to draw himself alongside Tom Carnaby. If anything, he loses time as a result of that and through gaining a position as he gathered up the moment there, Adrian Churchill comes one of the Nissans out of Church Corner and then they'll make their way round Brooklyn's Bend and up Woodham Hill with Tom Carnaby leading the race. The Nissan bearing down on him in second place, tries to get up the inside and should take second place away, albeit very, very circumspect on the brakes was the approach there by that Nissan and therefore he's dropped down into third position has Peter Dignan so Carnaby leads, Churchill second, Peter Dignan third, head of Craig Curry fourth with Rick Kerry in fifth, Dan Malone sits there in sixth position and completing the top seven is the first of the Class B cars, that being Gareth Downing. There is the battle for second, third and fourth position in Class B with the Renault Megane of Jordan Witt heading the Mini Cooper. As the race leaders make their way up towards the complex once more, the two Astras starting to battle for the lead of the race, with Churchill trying around the outside at the first section of the complex, gives him the inside line for the second section, has to get on the brakes, however, because quite rightly so, Tom Carnaby turns in and takes the line, so Carnaby still leads. Second place is still the Courtney Sport car in the hands of the 2010 champion. He was crowned the champion this weekend, that being Adrian Churchill. He's very used to winning championships is Adrian Churchill. Again, he's going for the lead of the race. Again, Tom Carnaby chops across the nose as they come round through Goodwood and up towards Village. But this time Churchill's got a good run as they head round through Village on towards Church Corner. Churchill is going to grasp the lead of the race. Tom Carnaby has a little bit of contact, I think, there as well. And through past both of them goes the Nissan. So Peter Dignan manages to take the lead of the race. Now Churchill is trying to re-attack once more, sitting in the slipstream as they come round through Brooklands. You can see how close it is between the top five. Dignan leads, Churchill's there in second, Craig Curry in third position in the second of the two. Nissan comes charging up the inside, avoids contact with Churchill, instead makes contact with his teammate, who spins. There's further contact there with Tom Carnaby as well. Both cars off in the barriers, and poor old Peter Dignan and Tom Carnaby were both very much the innocent party. Craig Curry, who came barreling up the inside of both, has continued. He sits there in second place, so it's Churchill that leads. Craig Curry in second place, and Rick Kerry is there in third place. Tom Carnaby out of the car, he's absolutely fine, but the car's not in the safest of places, right on the head-on, on the exit of the club chicane. Churchill leaping over the kerbs in the lead of the race. Craig Curry trying to keep him as honest as he possibly can following what for me was his mistake coming in towards the club chicane. We ride on board with Gareth Downing. Of course, he'll have gained positions as well following the retirement of those cars ahead. And there is our Dunlop Race Academy winner, Ryan Bensley, who's had a torrid weekend, the 26-year-old from Kings Lynn. Craig Curry continues round in second place. Not as close to the Vauxhall Astra as he was previously. The safety car, by the look of things, is being readied as well because of the position at which these two cars have come to rest. The Nissan of Peter Dignan, the Vauxhall Astra of Tom Carnaby, as out onto the circuit once more goes our Mini Clubman safety car, allowing the marshals to pull these cars into the infield and into substantially safer positions than where they currently reside. 
the safety car boards out at the marshal's post. The yellow flag's being waved. The field will bunch their way up behind the safety car with Churchill leading. Let's have a look on board uh, from Tom Carnaby's perspective. There goes Craig Curry one side and dives up the inside of Adrian Churchill, who just about avoids contact with him. Carnaby, I think, was busy watching what was unfolding ahead. Lost concentration himself and ran wide before making further contact with Peter Dignam. So the safety car is about to head back into the pit lane. We're about to go racing once more here at Thruxton as Churchill accelerates towards the start finish line. No overtaking until they reach the start finish line. Churchill goes through. Craig Curry caught napping in second position there. A good restart from Adrian Churchill. There's a battle of Class B once more. Kevin George and Andre Maggi fighting away for second and third place in the class. The blue BMW diesel in the hands of Gareth Downing just ahead of them on the road. As up towards the complex once more they go. There is the Class B leader, number 31, Gareth Downing with 44. The mini of Andre Maggi and then 34, the Go Mobile Corsa VXR of Kevin George, the man from St. Austell, not that far away. To be right on board with the Class D leading BMW. Gareth Downing has certainly got to watch his mirrors. Of course, he had managed to open up a subtle advantage in the lead of Class B. Class B for those cars with between 130 and 160 brake horsepower per tonne. You can see the rain really coming down now. It has been just drizzling very lightly. It is now a real rain cloud that has descended on Thruxton as Kevin George is trying to squeeze his way in the course or up the inside of Andre Maggi's Mini. That would give him second in class if he can make it stick. Up towards Church they go. We saw them make contact earlier on in the weekend, but this time a clean pass made by Kevin George. Up to second in the class he comes. The BMW still leading the class. As they come up Woodham Hill, there is Kevin George in his newly acquired second place in class. With Andre Maggi third in class in the Mini, and then Jordan Witt in the Renault Megane sitting there fourth in class. Class B very close indeed. Through the club chicane they go. Over the start finish line once more with Kevin George pressing the BMW for the lead of the class. Through the right-hander they go. And for the moment, Gareth Downing looking as though the BMW is struggling a little bit more in these subtly damper conditions. He's still in the lead of the class. Has a very, very slender margin between himself and not just the course behind. But also the Mini of Andre Maggi and then the Renault Megane Sport of Jordan Witt. Right on board with Gareth Downing once more. You can see the windscreen wipers now on the BMW as Kevin George sits there in second place in danger of losing second place in the class if he's not careful. Gareth Downing still manages to hang on to the lead of the class. There's the BMW diesel, of course, rear wheel drive as well that is still excelling currently. Kevin George using all of the curbs right on the fast reaches of the circuit, round through village and up towards church. Still that BMW diesel of Gareth Downing, the Matt James Racing prepared car. Former Ford Fiesta racer Gareth Downing, who claimed the class victory earlier on today. And he's really going to have to fight if he wants his second class victory of the weekend because Kevin George is coming back at him. Up Woodham Hill they'll come. You can see the rain getting ever heavier on the windscreen of Gareth Downing. And Kevin George trying to draw himself alongside at the wheel of the Vauxhall Corsa onto the brakes through the right, left and right flicks at the club chicane they will come. You can see that Jordan Witt now in the orange Renault Megane has made it through to third in the respective class with Andre Maggi having slipped a position as Kevin George gets a very good run coming out of the club chicane. Surely that will give him the inside line for Allard and potentially the lead of Class B as they turn through the right hander. Kevin George this time, the course of VXR leads the class. Gareth Downing now down into second in the class and sixth position overall in the race. It's still cars queuing up so as to gain further positions on him if at all they can. Campbell up towards the left-hander at Cobb, then on towards the right-hander at Seagrave that completes the complex here at Thruxton. Then they'll head out and up to the left-hander at Noble Corner with Gareth Downing having to watch his mirrors. He's got the Renault McGann of Jordan Witt trying to get himself alongside. Here is the battle for the lead of the race once more with Craig Curry under a host of pressure from Adrian Churchill as they come in towards the club chicane once more you can see the rear end of the Nissan trying to break away in these trickier conditions here's the battle also for what is third and fourth place a good fight it is between Rick Kerry in the BMW and the Seat Leon of Dan Malone 
with the lead battle still continuing here. It's the fight for second and third in Class B. Jordan Whit breaks very late indeed for the club chicane. All over the curbs he goes. That drops him down a position and almost into the clutches of the Mini Cooper S in the hands of Andre Maggi. It is still Kevin George that leads the class from that blue BMW of Gareth Downing, then the orange Renault again Sport of Jordan Witt and the Mini Cooper of Andre Maggi. They're still not separated by a huge chunk, second, third and fourth in Class B. And neither are the race leaders overall because Adrian Churchill is really applying the pressure to Craig Curry as they come through Noble up towards Goodwood and then on towards Village. And Courtney Sport car in the hands of the 44-year-old from Buckingham is certainly wanting to try and take the lead of the race. Adrian Churchill who's won championships not just in the Sportmax Cup for which he was crowned earlier on but also in Honda CRX, in Rover Turbos, in Super Coupes and Vectra V6s is looking to try and take the championship in the best possible fashion with a further victory here at Thruxton. He's in the slipstream of the Nissan, jinks out as they head round through Brooklands. It will give him the inside line when they come up Woodham Hill and in towards the braking area for the club chicane. Very late on the brakes is Craig Curry in the lead of the race. Churchill staying as close as he possibly can as they complete this lap. And you can see just how tight the battle is behind with, again, Rick Kerry braking very late indeed in his BMW. He is going to shortcut the chicane, leaps over the curbs, and Churchill has taken the lead. Whilst all of that's been going on, the Astra has made it through. So the four-cylinder Astra ahead of the six-cylinder Nissan in the hands of Craig Curry. So the garage proprietor from Buckingham has made it through. Number 14, that red Courtney Sport prepared. Vauxhall Astra VXR, despite the fact that Craig Curry is coming back at him, there's almost contact between the two of them. Craig Curry had to get on everything possible there so as to avoid contact with Adrian Churchill, who just about gave the Nissan enough room. Out to the complex they've gone, up towards Goodwood once more. Here is the fight that's still going on in Class B, with Gareth Downing and then the mini of Andre Maggi fighting away. Let's have a look at the replay of how Adrian Churchill managed to grasp the lead of the race up the inside at Allard Corner. A good run out of the club chicane from Adrian Churchill brought him the lead of the race as they come up towards the complex for the final time. Is it going to be a second victory of the weekend for Adrian Churchill? Is it going to be a second victory of the weekend for Craig Curry? Through the club chicane they go over the start finish line. It is going to be a second victory of the weekend for the 2010 champion. Adrian Churchill claims the honours from Craig Curry in second place. Third place will go the way of Dan Malone with Rick Kerry getting everything wrong at the club chicane for the final time. So through comes Dan Malone for one of his best results of the season so far. Gareth Downing also looking as though he's going to again finish on the podium in Class B, but it will be Kevin George ultimately in the Corsa that will claim the honours for the less powerful cars. So Adrian Churchill takes his second victory of the weekend from Craig Curry in second, and Dan Malone who completes the podium. Well, let's hear from our 2010 champion and the race winner, Adrian Churchill. Like a hard-fought battle there with the Nissan and uh, changeable conditions as well. Yeah, that was the trouble, really. Um, you know, there was a bit of silly driving early on that we managed to avoid. Um, and then the rain came down, but it was strange because it, it, it wasn't all over the circuit. You know, on certain parts of the circuit, it was raining hard on the screen and it was a job to judge the grip. And um, I didn't want to do anything silly and throw it away, you know, when there's no need. So, you know, Craig probably got the run on me, but I let him through and just followed and, um, you know, just watched where I was quicker and... You know, timed it just right. So, Dan chuffed a bit to get back on the podium. It's been a long, hard struggle in that set. Yeah, I've waited all year, really. I've had a few in incidents, a few rolls, and a few crashes, but I just wanted that just one podium, third or first. I didn't care really, but I've got it today at Thruxton, which is pretty quick and it was pretty wet out there. So, I'm chuffed a bit. I'm over the moon. I'm loving it. <laughs> a great way to finish the season. Yeah, definitely. Hopefully, next year we'll be committed again and do some winter testing. Hopefully, it's a number three, two, one every weekend, not just to hopefully get the three at the end of the season, but we'll see how I get on. So the overall championship points for Class A mean that Adrian Churchill has claimed the championship by a sizeable margin for Brian Bensley, who's there in second, and Craig Curry completes the top three. We can also see our Class B winning driver on the top of the podium, Kevin George. So as for the overall championship points in Class B, it goes the way of Jordan Witt from Andre Maggi and Kevin George. Join us again in a few moments' time.